So right over here, we've got a tree with one of our bee bait boxes. We put this in last year. Becky actually took it way up high in this tree last year and the bees have moved into it. There's actually bees that moved into this tree and we haven't been able to get them out. It's an old tree and they don't want to cut into it at all. These are some friends of ours and we came up here early this morning to take our bee bait box. Some bees had moved in. I think they split off the original colony that's in the tree. And so we're going to get our box down. But first I need to climb up into this tree and actually put some wire mesh uh, over the door so we don't lose any more bees today. And then we'll take the box home, put it in one of our hives. Let's go up the tree. It really helps that we have that, it's sitting on that branch probably. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna help you. Hang on, I gotta close this. I thought it was resting better on that. It wasn't? Well, it slid as soon as I pulled the strap off. Oh, man. They're mad. Oh, gosh. Oh, one stuck my nose. Yeah, now they're all coming out. Do you have a hammer? Yeah. I gotta close the box up a little bit. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> They're after me. Yep. box over here. We have a lot of bees in here, which is good. But some of our box broke. I think they might be trying to sneak out this corner. So we're gonna have to get this home and hopefully we have... Oh, it's open right over here. I gotta find the piece that fell off of that. All right, we've got the box closed up. There's some honey dripping out of the corner. It's riding right down the truck here. I'm gonna get my ladder and then hope I can get Becky and the kids back in the car and we can get home. These bees are angry. you guys know our Australian Shepherd Joey. We've had her here at the farm for about a year and a couple months and we just absolutely love her and we thought it would be fun to try some new food with her. Today's video is actually sponsored by Nom Nom and it's pretty cool. Let me show you what they sent us. Come here Joey. Nom Nom sent us a bunch of food. They're individually packed meals and we move some of it over into the fridge every day. It's fogging up out here. It's so hot. So here we've got some chicken cuisine. It's got some chicken, sweet potatoes, yellow squash, spinach, fish oil. I mean, look at this stuff. It's got all 
real ingredients in here. Turkey fare. All right, she seems interested in this port potluck that has pork, potatoes, green beans, yellow squash, mushrooms, kale, fish oil. Let's open it up and see if she likes it. Every Nom Nom meal comes know. from a Nom Nom kitchen. Go ahead. Nom Nom preps and portions out their own food, pack it in their own buildings, and ship it out on schedule to make sure your pet's restaurant quality meals get the white glove treatment. Oh, you got it. So Joey has been loving this stuff. And we want you to try it too. So go to trynom.com slash white house for 50% off a two week trial. We think your dogs and cats will really love it. All right, let's get the bees moved into their hive. All right, we're back home and we're at the Lego hive. The Lego hive, we built it a little over a month ago. And when we moved the bees in, they're already about gone. They'd already lost their queen. It was the Saskatraz hives that arrived in the mail, pretty much dead on arrival. So uh, we ended up actually getting a queen from our friends at Last and Queen Bees. And the queen was doing all right, but there were hardly any bees in here. There she is. And she just didn't make it. So we're gonna put these bees in here and hopefully these guys will have a better shot. Let me take the lid off. So one thing we have going for us is that we already have some comb built on a few of these frames. So that's good. And then I can take some of these frames out because well, we do have some frames that are built in our swarm box. They're not the size of this. They're for our horizontal hive. So we've got some empty frames here that we're gonna rubber band any of their growth onto here. So we're gonna put it onto here and then we're gonna try to move the queen and all of the bees into here and hopefully they'll all follow the queen. Becky, how are you doing? You got stung a little bit today? Yeah, on the arms and my back, but nothing bad. Your poor face got it. <laughs> That's all right. So this box fell apart over here when it dropped down, of course. I was trying to piece it back together, but bees kept coming out. Luckily, most of the bees came with us. They're all swarmed right outside the box. So I think that tells me either the queen's right outside or right inside. So hopefully she made it. Let's find out. There's a lot of honey in here, but I just have to strap it to this for now. As I'm strapping all the honey on here, I'm keeping an eye out for the queen. We've got some bigger bees, but I haven't seen the queen yet. Okay, there's our first frame. I'm gonna go put that, I'm gonna put that one in. So right now I'm looking for the queen, if there is one, if she didn't die in the drop. So we had a bunch of bees over here. They're starting to break up. I'm not seeing them piled up as much, so I think they're gonna make their way over to here. And then we have a lot of bees on the outside of this box and on the inside, even over here on the strap. So I need to try to move this inside to make sure we get all the bees in and if there's a queen in here, we can find her. So their cargo net from the car. We're gonna move all these bees over. All right, well, this has gone a little better than this morning. I think we've got all the bees either in the box or right around it, like in the front or in this box, just waiting to go into the box. So figure out much anymore without a queen. I can't find where she's at. So we'll have to see what these guys do tomorrow if they end up swarming outside of the box or if they all move into the box. For so now, I'm ready to close the lid and then we'll have to see how these guys are doing tomorrow. Now, after we move that swarm into the Lego hive, I wanna check on our smaller Langstroth boxes because look how much they are fanning and hanging out outside of their hive. Could just be because it's hot, but could be because they're already outgrowing this box. And I need to see if I need to put this super on top of it. Oh yeah, the hive's looking really good. I'm not even gonna worry about messing with pulling those frames out. We're ready for the super. So we're gonna put our queen excluder on the, between the bottom brood box and the super to keep the queen down in the bottom half. And so that way, everything that gets put into this will be honey. Well, that's exciting. That's our first super to put on top and that'll make harvesting much easier this year when we're able to get honey out of that top super box. All right, so we're done with the Lego hive and our two Langstroth hives out here. Now we have three horizontal hives. Those are our bigger hives where they just grow horizontally from usually right to left in here. This red hive is doing right to left. Looks like they're about four or five frames down. So they're a little slower, which is okay. But I think our yellow hive or maybe our wild swarm hive may oh, have some honey ready so to go. Much. All right, so this yellow hive, they are almost full. I'm gonna try to keep away from the front. They are on just about every frame of this hive. So I wanna pull out a few frames, see if I can find some frames to harvest some honey. All right, that one's looking amazing. Well, we took two frames from this horizontal hive and they are not happy about it. You can probably hear them up on the microphone. They're all over it. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get all these bees off me. Oh man, they are not happy. Becky drove the car back there to keep all the boys safe. Let me get these guys to settle down and then we'll we'll get out of here. I guess I won't be messing with the yellow eye anytime soon. Nothing. Oh, those bees? I decided to open up this one. I thought maybe that would like get the other bees to stop, but that didn't really help them. What happened to you this morning? I got stung in the mouth. Sorry, bud. 
from the swarm we got this morning? Yeah. yeah. We're at our last hive. This is our flow hive. This is over in our garden area. All the other hives are back in our apiary, which is at the very back of the yard. Now this is the exciting thing we've been waiting for, is to be able to put the super on top of the flow hive. This is where we get to put these, which is where you can harvest the honey and you don't even have to remove the frames. You can harvest it right in place on top of the hive. So we're gonna take this top off, see if they're ready to put the super on. Of course, we're getting attacked. So we're looking good in here. It's time to put the super on. We're gonna put the queen excluder right here in the middle. Keep the queen in the bottom half. And then we're gonna put the super on top. All right, we've got the super on over here. And then I'll show you how this works when we actually do get to harvest the honey. Eli, come on over here. So we turn this right here and then we're able to take this out. This tray will sit right here. And so we'll be able to set our jars right out in front of here. And then we'll take this little piece out here. We'll be able to turn these to actually make them come downward, the, the inside of the frame. And then we'll put tubes on the outside of these and then the honey will just start to flow right out of the back of this super. And so hopefully in maybe a month or two, we'll have a bunch of honey in here. I see some bees already getting up into there. So hopefully we'll have some honey in here. We'll be able to harvest. Well, every time you see us, my face is getting a little worse. I'm about three or four bee stings in now. So we're ready for the, the reward from all of our hard work today. And we get to get a little bit of honey. Because these frames are bigger than the normal frames, we might get an extractor later this year for our smaller uh, Langstroth hives. But for this one, we've just got to scrape it off and let it drain into a bucket. So let's get started. Our five gallon bucket, it's got a little spout at the bottom. And then we've got a paint filter right here to be able to filter out any of the stuff that's inside of our honey. Last thing I don't want to do today is put those two frames back that we took some honey from because there was some brood on there as well. Since they're in horizontal hives, they grow everything on the same frames. And I don't want to do it, but I've got to open that box up one more time to get those two frames back in so I can give them back their brood. Well, a couple. Of Couple found a way to get into the suit right here. I got a sting to the face, one to the neck, one to the arm. I'm getting out of here. I'm tired of getting stung. Yikes. Oh. oh, I'm getting out of here. All right, let's pour out the honey that we got from the hive. Yummy. That's good stuff. And as far as our new wild swarm, how are they doing? We moved them out of the Lego hive. Definitely some heating issues in there that I need to resolve. So I moved them into a regular hive. They're still doing fine. There's still a lot of bees in there. I don't think there's a queen, but they just might make it. Oh, and I still hate getting stuck. Oh. 